Hi everybody, good evening. It's Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. Tonight's webinar is one where I want to talk about not just what an intensive is, but, but a little bit behind the work that goes into it in terms of what we want to help, help people accomplish. I'm getting lots of emails, lots of questions from parents, so this webinar will be a, a, a resource for them that we can send out for them to understand. For those of you who have been through it, which there are several of you on the webinar tonight, you're welcome to send in comments and I can pass those along as we go. And also if you have specific questions, you can pass those along as we go. First, I'm gonna borrow from the, the blog. This is a letter, an open letter that a parent wrote to us after attending our intensive. He says, my wife and I expected to benefit greatly from our intensive, but I have to say how surprised I was by how much we received from all, from all of you and our experience. There is a lightness in both our being that comes from laying down burdens we didn't know we carried so heavily. Even in the midst of my stressful first day back at work, I feel a presence and mindfulness. The importance of a centering spiritual practice was made so clear to us, and we heard it. So every day, we can now face the challenge of bringing what we felt and learned into the stresses of the front country. We learned just how important just how important this process is and how it continues forever. So the intensives are intended not to be a replacement of therapy, but really something that frames your therapy, something that accelerates your therapy. Many people who have attended the intensives have been in lots of therapy, lots of work previous to this, even similar kinds of experiences to these. And part of what we want to do is, is, is give you that respite, have something that you can carry with you. And not just information, not just psychoeducation, but actually an, an experience that can be a centering and a reference point for you. So I just wanted to give that introduction. What is an intensive? An intensive is something that comes from this place. So Vogue Therapy Programs understands the necessity of treating the entire family and offers programs for individuals, parents, and families. These programs are available to anyone and are led by our, our therapists. This is the most important point. Each of our intensives helps participants develop awareness about the impact of their unique history and family of origin on present day challenges and relationships. There's something about this group process, something about the, the psychodrama, the, the role plays that we go through, something about that helps you to untangle, to unpack your history and, and, and make sense out of it, excuse me, make sense out of it, at least how it's impacting your present day challenges. Doesn't take away the burden, doesn't make it easier to carry necessarily, but it gives you some clarity around where your work is. If nothing else comes out of the intensive for participants, besides the idea of, I know what my work is, I know where I have to do work in my life, I, I know where my limitations are, I know where I struggle, and I have compassion for myself, part of what we want you to experience is an increased level of compassion toward yourself and the areas that you struggle. If nothing else comes out of it, but just that, that awareness, that focus, then I think we've accomplished something. For those of you who don't know what they are, we, we run these at our Oasis for right now. The Oasis is a site that has a yurt for cooking and supplies, for bathrooms and showers, and also for sleeping. And during the cold winter months, we're going to do the bulk of the work inside of the yurts, where, it's, where it'll be warm by a, a wood-burning stove. We'll take some time outside around the fire, do some short day hikes, there's some other activities outside, but the bulk of the work is going to be inside of the yurts, and we've decided to do that throughout the winter this year. You're going to experience a lot of mindfulness activities. We're going to have at least one focus, uh, one mindful focus each day. Um, there's going to be opportunities to learn about walking meditation, to learn about mindfulness, to reflect. We have a labyrinth that we participate in. And there'll be some minor hiking and camping activities, a hiking experience that is uh, less than a mile long, for example, will be a part of it. Um, so you can you can have some physical limitations and still do well with this but there will be some activities that will be light hiking and light camping camping you're, you're ideally you know one of the things that i think is challenging is that a lot of people who have inquired about these already want to come and do a private one with their family and, and while we do facilitate those and i'll talk about those later there is some power that comes out of having other people there right there is some energy that is intensified when there are other families present and you get to learn and do work vicariously, right? Watching somebody else do a piece of work oftentimes brings something out in you. So there's benefit for the peer to peer feedback, for the peer to peer connection, for, for the residents, for the sharing. And there's also a, an advantage of watching other people do their work. And we'll do some therapeutic games and initiatives. A, a large part of the intensives are centered around psychodramas. 
Psychodrama is physical, experiential, acting out. Role plays, empty chair, right? Having conversations with people that aren't there so that you can work through, not only develop a skill set, but also access emotions. And we know that that kind of participa participation, that kind of full body participation and imagination increases a client's ability to feel things that otherwise might be intellectualized, right? Might, might, you might stay on the surface with. And like I said, there's going to be daily meditation and mindfulness activities so that you can take that, that skill with you or at least be exposed to it and, and see what it might be able to do for you. When people ask me who, who comes to the, who do we want to come to the intensive, there's only really one important criteria, and that is they want to, that, that they need to, excuse me, that they believe that they need to do some work. That's all I ask for. If you think there is work for you to do in your life, in your relationships, then you're welcome to come to the intensive. That's the only requirement. Co-parents can come together if they're willing to be vulnerable in front of the other. And so we've had divorced people, we've had co-parents come and they were willing to do work and share in front of each other and that's perfectly appropriate. They don't have to come together. Even parents that are still married and very cohesive can come individually. So you don't have to come even to the parenting intensive as a couple or as a set of, set of co-parents and you have the flexibility to, to space those out. You don't necessarily have to have had an adolescent or young adult student at Evoke, right? This is independent. We've had people, several people now, who don't have any relationship with Evoke in terms of having a child go through our wilderness program. Like I said, there'll be some hiking and outdoor and some exposure to the elements. That's gonna be a part of this experience for right now, that there's gonna be some exposure. And it's not something, we, we want you to be well equipped for it, but we want you to know that that's gonna be something. We, we want you to be comfortable, but we're also gonna do some stuff outside. It happens at the Oasis, like I said. So that, that does give us some flexibil flexibility in all types of weather to be able to provide something comfortable and contained. What we learned from this last one, and we got lots of feedback was, that although that the outdoors are our, our beautiful setting, that sometimes having a, a piece of work done inside of walls provides a, a, a kind of a containment, right? It increases intensity in a positive way. Right? We, we don't get distracted. We don't go. We don't let our mind drift and wander. And so that's part of what, what happened. What we realized that the, this time is that there's going to be some out, outdoor activities, but a lot of the very deep emotional work is going to be done inside. I wanted to explain the difference between a workshop and an intensive, and I've, I've given you the email addresses associated with the Evoke employees who manage the RSVPs and the questions with these. A workshop is a, a, an experiential activity, but it's, it's a lot of families, and it is mostly psychoeducation. There is some exposure to some experiential. You might practice a bow drill fire. You might do some role plays and things like that, but it's going to be in, in large groups, and mainly centered around psychoeducation versus an intensive, which is very deep personal work. You're gonna do a, a lot of sharing. These are small groups. We're talking about four to, to eight clients, and you're gonna, gonna be going very deep into your history, into your family relationships, where you grew up, the messages, the roles, the rules, what, what, whatever trauma you can w work on or process or, or, or talk about. So that's what it's, it's much more like therapy and the workshops are much more like half lecturing, half teaching, and, and, and part therapy. And, and by the way, people rave about the workshops. We want all Evoke families, if possible, to go to one of our workshops during their child's stay. That's one of our hopes, requests, just short of requiring it. And a, a, an intensive is somebody who wants something a little bit more personal and, and deeper in the process and personalized. We have three types of intensives. The first one is Finding You. Finding You is our program for individuals looking for a therapeutic accelerator to create dynamic change in their life. Participants uh, looking to find balance or comfort or confront current dilemmas will come away with a greater sense of peace and clarity. This program is a four-day experience with education, group counseling, psychodrama, and a wilderness therapy experience. So Finding You is for any adult, 18 or older. And this last one, half of the participants were young adults and half of the participants were parents of students who had either gone through our program or who were in our program. And, and it was a nice balance because I, th I think the young adults could learn from and, and watch as, as the older adults in the group were, were doing their work. And, and then there was a nice component where the, the, the older adults, right, the parents, 
or, or having some nice education exposure to some of the things that the young adults were, were dealing with, were struggling with. And there was also a, a lot of overlap to see how these themes can be themes for our entire life and that a 24-year-old can relate to a 44-year-old. Heroic parenting is our, our second type of workshop. Heroic parenting intensives focus on the tools and insights parents need as they navigate challenges in parenting. This program also is a four-day experience with educational group counseling, psychodrama, and wilderness therapy. So this is the one for parents. It can be one parent, two parents. It can be co-parents as long as they're willing to do the work. And then heroic journeys for, is for families. And these can be six-day or four days. We've done both experiences. We're going to do the six-day ones in the summertime or, or associated with... Um, they you know with uh, traditional vacations um this can be one family or multi-family and we've had both so you can you can set up a, a custom intensive where just you and your family we're talking about three at least three or more can participate and we're going to focus all the work around you or multi-family group b I, I want you to be very thoughtful and have a discussion with us before you decide to do a private one because like i said there's a lot of benefit to doing it with other families and getting that kind of experience, feedback, intensity, and support from peers. Custom intensives can be families, couples, or multifamily groups. They can focus on uh, specific themes like grief. We had a, we've had a couple so far where people have had a specific issue that became the theme for their custom family, one person, one family intensive. Um, and again, if the privacy is for a specific reason, for a unique reason, if the privacy is just that I don't want to share and open up in front of others, we might challenge you on that by inviting you to, to consider coming to a multifamily group intensive. And of course, part of it is assessment. How much therapy do you need? Right? What kind of therapy might be helpful for you? Are, do, are you working with a therapist at home? Do you need 12-step work? That's a part of it. And, and, and part of it is... This can be an introduction to therapy, so you can do it early in the therapeutic process, or it can give you a, a sense of closure. We've had families who have scheduled it to, to conclude their child's stay in wilderness therapy. We've had others come much earlier in the process, and that became a, a jumping off point for them to visit their child in the field and do some extra deep work and, and really come with, with a stronger foundation than, than they might have if they just came from home. Another quote from that same blog, uh, that open letter blog from the parent. My perception and what I would wish to share in a blog is this. When our son went to evoke, it was shocking to us and, as well to him. But that shock opened us up and gave us permission to begin a journey where we were clearly more, re we were clearly more ready for. Actually overdue. By embracing the process, watching the webinars, and doing our work at home, we came to the intensive ready and prepared to do the, for the work. Without that preparation, it might not have been so transformative. And without the parent intensive, our field work with group three might have not have been so rich. So in my mind, it's all been a continuum. And of course, so will, so will be for the future. I couldn't have planned our process any better. And I love this quote from, from this father. In a perfect world, all parents would have a similar opportunity. Not too soon in the process, but not too late. So again, gets, getting some foundation and doing it early and, and having it be that therapy accelerator, that, 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 that intensifying experience for you therapeutically and clinically. clinically. And, and the parents who have done this and used this in conjunction with a field visit, they have all expressed to us of the profound gratitude and respect that they experience from their child and, and even from their child's peers in the group, recognizing how hard it is. I know whenever the intensive start, I can feel that anxiety and that trepidation by, by several of our, our participants. And, and part of it for me is this opportunity to remind them, this is what it feels like to your child. You know, even though your child is, is, is symptomatic, putting them in a program, telling them to open up in front of strangers is a, a very difficult thing to be asked to do. And, and if nothing else, you, you walk away with a, a greater sense of empathy, a greater experience of empathy, greater capacity for empathy for what you're asking your child to do. What we want to do, and this comes really from the first chapter of my book, is change the question, right? We want to change the question from what do I do to who am I? We want to change the question from what do I do to what's my relationship, who's my child, what's my relationship to them, and what's my relationship to their problems. That is always the goal in our therapy and our work is to answer those, those core questions. And, and when we can understand those core questions better, the, the, the more clear we can get on answering those questions, the more grounded we are in our awareness of self, our awareness of other, 
and our, our awareness of our relationship to others and their issues, the more, more grounded we can get in those, the, the clearer will be our direction. In fact, when we don't know the answer to what should I do, what that tells us is that we're, we're missing some of those pieces there. It doesn't remove fear, but it does provide us the courage to, to walk into that decision in, in spite of the fear or, or, or with that fear still in existence. So it can prove that. Why experiential therapy and not just lecturing and talk therapy? Because we know that our own traumas are stored in those parts of our brain that aren't always verbal, right? They're, they're, they're stored in the uh, kinesthetic, the, the nonverbal parts of our brain. They're stored in cell assemblies, which are a, a gathering of connected parts of the brain where we process information in a different way. So if all we're using is verbal or oral therapy or, or reading or writing, if that's all we're using to try to access it, we're not really using the most effective method many times. So by moving around, by acting, by role playing, by participating in psychodrama, using props, doing empty chair techniques, we have a better chance of dealing with our, our, our large and our small T trauma and, and, and beginning to, to frame it for us. Like I said, it's, I think of it, my, my, my own experience is a, th a therapy accelerator. It's not a replacement for therapy, but it is a, a therapy accelerator. And it's important, I think, that, that not be the end for anybody. That, that hopefully it, it, it's, it's motivating enough, inspiring enough, that you're going to want to do more work. I had a client ask me today, little question, are you ever done? Do you ever arrive? Right? Do you ever arrive at, at, at kind of an ideal mental health place? And... I, I said to, to the client, I said, so if you did arrive, what would be the conclusion that you would, what would be the decision that would come out of that? And he, and he wasn't quite sure, and we talked about it a little bit longer. And what I said was, it, it's kind of like for me saying, I'm going to the gym, I'm in fantastic shape, and so I arrive. If the conclusion of that is that I stop going to the gym, I'm not sure that that's a healthy conclusion to arrive at. So I feel better, more empowered, more hopeful in my 40s, late 40s than I did in my 30s, than I did in my early 40s. And I hope to be more inspired, grounded, aware, conscious, <clears throat> happy in my 50s and so on and so forth. So I, I don't know, I don't <clears throat> think about, excuse me, <clears throat> I don't think about mental health as this kind of destination. And, and I don't think of therapy, I don't think of my going to therapy, and most of you have heard me say this many, many times, which I've been going to the same therapist for almost 18 years now. I don't think of my therapy as evidence of me being sick or struggling. I think of me going to therapy as evidence that I'm healthy and that I want to grow. So the, the same way that going to the gym would be evidence of wanting to get stronger and be healthier and having a positive attitude toward my body and toward exercise. So... That it's, a, it's a little bit of a shift in paradigms. It can create a cathartic experience, right? A lot of emotions can be expressed and, and, and shared and felt. It can give you new meaning. And, and really what it does, it helps you access and, and, and identify the fractures in your own childhood, your own history, your own experience, even as an adult, even with your child. The fractures in you that end up resulting in that lack of clarity, that increased anxiety and, and the sense of hopelessness, don't know where to go, don't know what to do, so I'm without hope. So, so that's ideally what it is and, and what it can provide. I'm not going to go into all of the scheduling and all of the activities because uh, some of that is going to be different for each family, each case, each intensive, number one and number two. That's part of what we want you to do is just be present to, to let us take care of you and you don't have to manage it and you don't have to it's not you're not in charge of it you're in charge of how you participate in it but you don't have to decide the structure and prepare for it and then that is, is very similar to what we create for the, the clients in our program all right questions i don't have a long one tonight so any questions any comments by there's several of you who are on here tonight who participated in an intensive and I'm, I'm happy to share any of those thoughts I recently attended the Finding You Intensive. My son was not a part of Evoke. He's currently in an RTC. I did my first intensive one year ago this month. I've discovered there are layers of healing, much like an onion, needing to be exposed to be healed. I promise this is the best way to get to the root of our wounds. 
It is like six months of therapy and four to six days. Please just do it. I promise it is so worth the time and the money. You will not be disappointed. I, I love that idea of layers of healing because I go to, ever since I went to the intensive that I talk about in the first chapter of my book, I go back to that program once a year for, for some kind of intensive experience. And, and it is something I look forward to, something I walk away energized from, something that it's, it's the one time a year that I go that I don't have to be in charge of the therapy. I, I love that part of it, that somebody else is in charge, that I can metaphorically rest. I can just be Brad, be the little kid Brad, the imperfect, unhealed, struggling Brad, and that that's okay, okay for me to show up that way. My daughter has been through the program and I have recently attended your parenting intensive, which was marvelous. I am lobbying and hoping you will consider hosting a mother-daughter intensive. Now that she and I are both in our own process of recovery, we are eager to take our experience to our mother-daughter work to a new level. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do something. Well, this my goal is next year to open up a facility in the Salt Lake City area. And we're going to expand our intensives to all kinds of topics, including father, 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 son, and mother, daughter. Even could do mother, son, and father, daughter. But we're going to ex expand those. So I, I definitely want to. We definitely will. And this first year is about getting kind of getting our programming going, and then we're going to get a facility up here and expand it to several different kinds with a lot more staffing and a lot a lot easier for people to travel to, so that they can land in Salt Lake and then participate in our in our cabin experience with some outdoor activities so that is on the agenda on the horizon i showed my son the photos from the intensive and he could not believe i went into the wilderness to continue my work through this intensive i'm on a better path to understanding my truth and because of this i'm becoming more in touch with who i am and learning to separate from my son he is seeing that i'm doing my work to be able to do just that. That's wonderful. I, I think that's why I always encourage my families, my parents to share with their kids their work, their struggles. They don't want to be the only one that's broken, right? They don't want to always be the focus of, of the family's therapy. They, it's such an unburdening experience to learn that my parents have work to do and they're doing it. And they're getting challenged and they're uncomfortable and they're anxious and they're worried and it's not about me. It's about their own wounds, their own healing, their own issues. That is such a powerfully supportive process. Just the, the, the identifying that you're going to do your work and doing it. And then if you can have the, the strength, the clarity to come back and share some of the things that you're working on and figuring out about yourself. It is amazing uh, the impact that that can have on a, on a child who's going through this process. All right. All right, folks. Thanks for joining us on this short webinar tonight. I appreciate it. Thanks for those. For those of you who don't know or and, and are in the New York City area or want to make a trip there, we're going to have a private reading of the, the play, a, a, a condensed private reading of the play Wilderness. It's a fundraiser. It's going to be at this address. Um, email webinar at drbradreedy.com um, to let us know if you're interested in coming. It's getting really close to being full. Um, we have a parent meeting on October 25th. That this Sunday. You can talk to Stephanie at evoketherapy.com to find out more. And in Los Angeles, um, later on this month, contact Jennifer at her email address there. There's a picture of, of Roberto doing some dishwashing at the intensive. Um, the next Finding You one will be December 10th through 13th. And then we have a heroic parenting one, January 21st through 24th. And then we have some additional intensives that we, intensive we have not yet identified which ones those are going to be coming up in, in later winter and early spring. We just finished the parent workshop up in Entrada, so we'll be scheduling one as soon as possible. You know about our pursuits trips. These are high adventure outdoor activities for young adults. Um, please go to six meetings while your child is with us and follow us on social media. We just opened up an Instagram account. Also, please follow us on social media. It helps not only to, 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 to spread the word about inspira inspiring quotes and pictures, but also announcements can be a part of that. And here is my book. And like I said, the book, 
the beginning of the book, the, the framework of the book was inspired by my first intensive that I went to in 2010. And if you can, go to our, found, uh, our foundation page because 10% of all, all books on all these topics that you buy through that portal goes to a charity to help people who can't afford treatment. Any other questions before we close, Michael? I know my daughter worked really hard in the wilderness. Are the intensive as physically taxing as hers was? Although her response is not the point, I wonder if the kids think what the parents go through is lightweight compared to what they have been through. My child is very competitive. Has that been an issue? Relative, yes. I, I, I think if the message is, I did what you did, I think they're going to say, you didn't quite do what I did. Not physically and, and, and not in terms of duration. So it's not about saying I did equal to it. It's, I did a, I did a, 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 a spoonful of what you did. I did just a, just a tiny portion of what you did. And let me tell you how much it stretched me. So I can only imagine if I had to do this for 60 days how hard and how challenged that would have been for me physically and emotionally. So I don't think the message is I did the same thing as you. I did it as long as, as long as intense, but I, I took a bite out of it and I am all the more impressed with what you've accomplished, what you've gone through in this process also. So thank you. It's an important clarification. The next webinar will be next Tuesday, the 27th at 6 30 PM. I'm actually doing a professional intensive over the weekend, having a bunch of professionals in the field of therapeutic placement, therapeutic programming coming out with us. So we're going to be doing that over the weekend. So next Tuesday, I'll be back October 27th at 6 30 p.m. Mood Disorders. And I look forward to talking to you then. Hope this was helpful. And for those of you who are watching on the archives, I hope it helps you answer some of the questions you might have about our intensives. Have a great evening, folks. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye.